Most people consider themselves animal lovers. We recognize them not as objects, but as complex beings with whom we share the planet, our lives, our homes. We take pleasure from their pleasure. We anguish over their pain, celebrating their intelligence and individuality as we welcome them into our families or revere them in their natural element. The thought of unnecessarily causing them harm or suffering is to many unbearable. So for those who feed, clothe, or entertain us, we choose to follow a narrative that minimizes or altogether eliminates their suffering. The picturesque family farm and the iconic loving farmer, a humane and painless end, a small price happily paid for a life well lived, an arrangement of mutual benefit. Hidden by this narrative, out of sight, out of mind, they cease to be individuals, most known only as livestock, faceless units of production in a system of incomprehensible scale, exempt from the cruelty laws that protect our companion animals. Their suffering, unseen and unheard, their value determined only by their usefulness to humankind, rationalized by a belief in our own superiority and the notion that might equals right, a notion that must be questioned.